Sunday. We're gonna spend the whole day together. Can you handle that? Yeah. You sure? Right. All right, Clearwater Beach, here we come. But first it's breakfast. Honey's getting a leftover Swiss steak and cheese omelet and a blueberry bagel. And I'm having eggs over avocado toast. Yum. Say hi. Say hi. See, I'm the most precious chihuahua ever next to Casper, because Casper was number one. You can be number two. Yeah. You look a little high. Yeah. Are you done? Are you done?
Wait, Ethan's for home? Are you? Are you happy? Are you happy? Yes, you is. I'm so happy we're home. Yes. Are you happy? Happy dog. Yes. I'm gonna get you. Are you happy dog? Happy dog. Happy dog, it is a happy, happy, happy dog. Let me tell you, it's a happy, happy, it's a happy dog. It is a happy, happy, happy dog. Good morning and happy Monday. So yes, it is the next day. Mike and I had the most fantastic day yesterday. You already saw, did the day in clear water, laying on the beach, just chilling. Um, I pulled up this... Uh, something I found on the internet. I pulled it up on the phone. It's icebreaker questions or get to know you questions. It was a hundred of them. We only did 50. But even though we've been together for over 38 years now, it's neat to still see if there is something that you just don't know about your partner. So again, it was, we did these 50 questions and they were all over the place. Um, you know, basic of who's your favorite author to what is your biggest complaint about your job to um what did you want to be when you were little and had a really really good time uh, had our dinner late lunch early dinner at frenchie's rockaway grill as you saw not a restaurant that's new to us we've eaten there many times whether it was down here on vacation or when we lived here the best grouper um, they do have multiple locations. The unique thing about Frenchie's is if you are planning a trip down here or planning on moving here, Frenchie's has their own fleet of boats. So the fish that you are eating, they've caught and it's never been frozen. Those boats are out every day and they bring in the fish fresh. So it's you're not going to get much fresher down here. So <clears throat> best grouper, best grouper down here by far. And then we drove to the machinist, the machine shop that Mike used to work at when we lived here in 2018. Of course, they weren't open. It was a Sunday. Um, and they have since, uh, they, I think he was told they were sold twice since then. It was a family-owned business forever. And the owner was in his 80s when Mike worked there. So it still has the, the sign on the door, I guess, but other people are running it now. Um, so it was just a nostalgia thing, drove over there, he looked around a little bit, came home, and um, I'm interested in seeing the new Jurassic World movie that's out. So I, we watched the first Jurassic World last night that was um, released in 2015. So hopefully, maybe this Friday night, maybe, we can watch the, um, we can watch Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom again. That one was released in 2018, and we actually saw that when we lived down here before. And then we'll be ready to go to the movies to see the new Jurassic World Dominion. So blah, 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 blah. That was yesterday. So today, full day for me today. It is 7.25. I'm leaving here in about 20 minutes. Uh, I have an appointment to get blood work done. Again, just basic blood work since I got my new doctor down here. We're starting over baseline. Um, so full blood work up at 8.15. I got to be there by 8.05. And then at 9.30, I have a hair appointment. It's time. Oh, God, it's time. So getting my roots done and getting a haircut. And then at 2 o'clock, I have a mammogram. So I am going to have hopefully a little bit of time between the hair and the mammogram, again, got to factor in Florida traffic um, and everything so spread out around here that I can maybe squeeze in a little bit of grocery shopping. So I'm going to take a cooler with me because I'd like to hit Costco and Target up in Wesley Chapel area because I'm not going to be down here in my Tampa, Brandon, Riverview area. Um, so I can squeeze in a little bit of grocery shopping before I have the mammogram at 2 and then back home to make dinner for Mike. And then tomorrow starts my work week. So... Have you seen these at Target? Oh my god, they're good. Very good. So gluten-free, dark chocolate chip waffles. I pop one of these in the toaster and I just put butter on them. They don't even need syrup. It's like eating, it's like eating a, a dense muffin. It is so good. So I'm going to grab those for breakfast 
and I already had my tea with my collagen and then we gotta get out the door. I have been busy, my sheets are already washed and in the dryer. Um, I do have to do dark wash yet. The one thing about trying to do everything on my weekends and then, but I shouldn't say that. You know I normally try to do as much as I can through the week um, before work, but I was sick this past week. I'll tell you all about that in the car when I'm driving. I gotta get moving. Okay, let's go. All right, so blood work is done. So I actually have, um, I'm gonna have about 20 minutes to spare and I'm gonna be going like right near the house again. So I'm gonna run home quick and get my sheets out of the dryer and put them back on the bed, get the bed made. That way, Caitlin's off today. If she wants to do any laundry, I don't have the dryer tied up. That's a big thing with us. We have to make sure we don't all try to do laundry at the same time. So I'm gonna run home and do that, but anyway, I was sick this past week. So my work schedule is Tuesday through Saturday. Last weekend, Sunday, I started getting like a sore throat. And I, I'm, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm not one to, to get sick. I just, I don't get colds, I don't get bronchitis, I don't get things like that, I don't get viruses. I get weird things that usually require anesthesia and a knife. So anyway, was not feeling good Sunday. Monday, started feeling even worse. I started with a cough. So I took a COVID test Monday night, negative. I'm like, okay, I'm going to work Tuesday. And I did. I got up. I went to work Tuesday. Um, again, just had a really mild sore throat. And every once in a while, I would cough. Now, keep in mind, COVID is running crazy through... We have four security checkpoints. We have over 600 officers at our airport. COVID's running crazy right now with a lot of the officers. Um, we have a lot of people out with it. Um, I thought, oh, I guess it's just my turn to get it. Again, nothing. So I went to work Tuesday. By the time I was done, my eight hour shift Tuesday night, we were in the middle of debriefing. I was coughing like pretty darn good. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to stay back in the corner and trying to cough and we're back to requiring masks again because Hillsborough County that I live in has high rate of transmission right now so we got the flipping face diapers back on again because uh, they really really work because we didn't have COVID running through our checkpoint until we put the diapers back on our faces again but anyway I'm not getting political um, but I hate the masks and I don't believe in them anyway shut up Michelle keep going okay so I went to work Tuesday and Tuesday night, coughing like crazy. Got up Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? Yeah, got up Wednesday. I was like, no, there's no way I can get it, go in because I'm feeling pretty darn rough. I had zero energy. I took my temperature with two different thermometers because we have two and I'm like, I was cold, but I wasn't feeling like feverish. I had no body aches, um, but I'm also someone who's cold a lot. So I took my temperature. One said 97.9, the other one said 97.6. So I had no fever, um, but just was feeling extremely lethargic. So I laid around all day Wednesday, watched uh, all three Jurassic Park movies, one, two, and three, over the course of the entire day. I did make Mike dinner, but I just felt crappy. So I thought, oh, one day off of work is enough. I'll rest, I'll go back to work Thursday. Wednesday night, I go to bed, not feeling horrible, but just still had the mild sore throat and this cough every once in a while and it, it wasn't a wet cough it wasn't a tight cough it was more of a dry cough my sinuses were fine nose was fine head was fine all that Thursday morning Mike got up to go to work and he woke me up and said you have done nothing but cough all night long I got no sleep I'm like sorry so I knew I was not going to work Thursday either but I couldn't bear the thought of another day laying around doing nothing so Thursday I called out of work but then I left the house on foot I don't, I don't, it might have been like nine o'clock in the morning I thought you know what I'm going to walk and sweat this virus whatever it is out of me 
I walked over three miles in this heat down here and I did. I sweated it out of me. I'm like, I'm not giving in. I don't care how bad I feel. I'm, I'm pushing myself and making myself do this. It's a proven fact, movement makes the body heal. Your body's not gonna heal very well unless it's stitched up or something. I don't take this the wrong way. But your body's meant to move. It's not meant to lay. So I walked and I sweated and I came back home and then I crashed for an hour. I woke up from that and I felt fine. I went back to work Friday, been fine ever since. Every once in a while I do get a little bit of a cough. There's something still kind of trying to hang out in there. But um, again, I just kind of healed myself. I couldn't, I couldn't lay around anymore. So one good walk in the Florida heat and humidity and I felt great. So I'm gonna shut up now because I'm almost home. So I stopped at Hobby Lobby in between appointments and can you believe they have the fall decor out already? Oh my gosh, I'm so not ready for this. No, 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 it's too early for this. Anybody who's looking to move to Florida, keep in mind, depending on where you move in Florida, these cities are very large, very sprawling. Like for my house to get my hair done is 22 miles. And then just to go, where did I go after that? Oh, I went over to the outlets. You know, then it was another like five miles. Now I'm going like another 12 miles. It, everything is very, very spread out. There's a ton of new development, new construction going on all the time down here because of the influx of people moving into the state. And it, it, it's amazing how much land you drive by to go from point A to point B that's completely undeveloped. Like, it's very surprising considering the amount of people. So, excuse me, I'm burping. I had to kill some time because I didn't have enough time to run home. So I went to, after I was done with my hair, I went to Costco, went to Hobby Lobby, which I showed you. Um, fall decor out already and we're still in June. Um, and then where did I go? Oh, Target. Um, and now I just stopped for a beverage because I'm thirsty. Um, so I picked up an Alani at a 7-Eleven, but I still had ice in my Yeti cup from 7.45 this morning. If you don't have a Yeti, get yourself one. I drank my iced tea this morning and had a wad of ice in there. And you know the inside of these cars are probably 140 degrees when they're sitting parked somewhere. I mean, it's 99 degrees outside right now here. Um, and that ice does not even begin to melt. I mean, these things are worth every penny you spend on them. So anyway, I got my Alani in here. I'm gonna be sipping that while I'm driving. So mammogram and then Walmart just to pick up an order of Mike's Super Coffee. Thankfully, I remembered to put ice packs and 
cooler bags in the trunk this morning because I have yogurt and some other cold stuff, my frozen berries and stuff back in the trunk that would definitely not survive this heat. I'm not complaining about the heat. Y'all know I love my Florida heat. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not conducive to hauling cold foods around if you have a ways to go. So I'm gonna quit babbling. Time to get the boobies checked and I'll be back. <gasps> dog isn't right. She angrily munches food when you come home like hur, 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 hur. there she goes. She's a mess. this two day long video. So thanks for hanging out with me. So my fun day was yesterday. My day of being adult was today. And you saw my dinner, dinner was great, but it was so stinking simple. I was cooking my batch of rice for the week and I took the shrimp, which were um, already peeled and deveined, but they were raw. And I coated them in a teeny tiny little bit of flour that I mixed with a lot of paprika and some cayenne pepper. Coated them, fried them in just butter and some garlic. And then I put a can of pineapple tidbits in there, all drained. And just um, sauteed that all together once the shrimp were done. And then put that on top of my rice and I had the zucchini sauteed on the side. Oh. That was a very good dinner. You could do that with chicken too and it would probably taste just as yummy. Um, so tomorrow it's back to the work week. I'll have new video. video, video, video. Oh. I'll have new videos coming. So see you.